What's up divas and divas? So you guys, so this is going to be the final update on this hair or this unit that I made using hair from marchqueen.com. I will post all the information below for you guys, but they did send me three, I think it was either three or four bundles, um, I do believe. I can't really remember off the top of my head because it's been a minute um, since I made this wig, but I did bleach it with two different types of developer, which was 30 and 40. And to get this Reppy Blonde from the first go round, I did do it um, 40 or 30 first, and then I put the 40 over it, and then I had like the 40s at the end. So, and then just to make it all really, really light, I used the T14 Well Toner along with 30 Developer, and I just saturated the entire wig. So I do have the footage of me making the wig and actually, you know, not making it like sewing it together, but just doing the processing, the cutting of it, the styling of it, because I did cut it, I did cut the hair, um, I did um, curl it on camera. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, you can definitely check the link below. Hopefully I'll remember to link that. If not, it will definitely be on my channel. But, so this is the fourth, or this is actually the fifth video because it's the update of March Queen's hair. And I will be honest and say, they do have some really good hair. I do like them. They do have several spots. One is on Amazon. I do believe they have an Alex. <clears throat> They do have several spots. One is on Amazon. I do believe they have an AliExpress and they have their own website. So I'll make sure to link all the information below for you guys. But they do have some really good quality hair. It's affordable. In case you guys are looking for like a place to get like good virgin hair, you can definitely check them out. I do like to work with companies rep um, repeatedly just because if they have good quality hair, I just prefer to work with them as an ongoing thing because I do know that they have good quality and I really don't want to give you guys a website that just gives you like semi quality hair you know what I'm saying or it's good for a minute and then it's just like not, not that great but today I just decided to just pin it up on the side because it was really hot out and you know I just wanted to do something different with it now depending on which way you part it you can see like more of the blonde if you part it to the sides you're definitely going to see more of the blonde if you part it in the middle you're going to see less of the blonde and i did show that in the initial video when i was you know just styling the wig and it is a lace front tool that they did send me so i did cut like some baby hairs i did pre-bleach the front tool and i did tweeze or pre-pluck the hairline a little bit i did leave some of the lace on the front because i just wanted to just try it out like that opposed to just cutting it directly at the hairline and just leaving no room for the actual baby hairs to kind of like breathe you want to say you know when you cut it really close to the hairline it kind of allows baby hairs to kind of like shed and fall out so you want to leave a little bit of wiggle room that way the hair doesn't fall out but it's still very soft it's very lustrous i like the way the color came out it wasn't like a plan type of thing you know saying the bottoms definitely was um only because i had made so much bleach and i didn't want to waste it i'm like one that does not like to waste any type of product because for one it's not cheap you know what i mean and you're just gonna flush it down the toilet or the sink so i really don't like to waste anything and it was just initially going to be just the front but then I decided, you know what, I'm just going to put the bleach, the remaining bowl of bleach on the bottoms. And the hair was long, but the way they sent the bundles, it kind of seemed like it got a little bit thinner at the ends. It was more volume, like around this area. So that is the reason why I cut it. And I think like the length that I cut it in is still really nice because it's like more or less like 20 inches opposed to it being like down here and kind of limp. I don't really like it too long because it loses body. So I kind of prefer my hair to be kind of like at this, you know, length right here. But the back is not, there's no blonde in the back. It's just all one solid color. Unless you see some blonde, then that's just from the frontal. But for the most part, it worked out really well. I think it came out cute. Um, it's a kind of, it's a, it's more or less like a color that you can just basically wear like all year round. And I think the way I did the, the highlights in it, the color in it, it kind of like will frame your face and just bring more dimension and more attention to your face, opposed to just kind of being like one solid color and kind of flat. When I initially did just the bleaching, you know, I wasn't really okay with it because the hair was, you know, basically a natural color, it was kind of dark, and it kind of like made the bleached part stand out and kind of look kind of ugly with it. So that's the reason why I just took like the 30 developer and saturated the entire hair just to lighten it 
up in a lot of the areas which it did and I think it came out really great like that um, I have done that on previous wigs and bundles so I knew it was gonna come out a lighter color if you use 20 it's only gonna lighten it just a little bit but if you use 30 then it's definitely going to like lighten it more it's gonna take it a level up I've never used 40 developer with a actual toner so I really can't tell you about that but I will say it did not dry out the only issue I had is there's a little bit of hairs in the frontal that are shorter and I just achieved that by putting some of my favorite hairspray and just laying it down and it's good to go so you guys you can definitely check out marchqueen.com they always have like great deals sales whatever and they also have amazing quality hair and i'll give them that and yeah make sure you guys check out the very first initial video that um i posted on this wig now for the color for the toner toner is so hard to get out of your hair like the scent the smell of it like some people don't like the smell of toner it doesn't really bother me too much um, I kind of like the smell but for those of you guys you just really want to make sure that you shampoo it really good when you are removing the toner because if you don't you're definitely going to smell that chemical in it and some people it may bother you but I would definitely suggest shampooing it out um, maybe with like a um, just like a coloring shampoo those always seem to work really well when it comes to like toners to get like that chemical smell out so I was able to get like 90% of it out so you know it's not so strong scented but other than that I think it came out like amazing I just did like some wand curls in it and just left it as is but hey it's really cute I did sew it on an adjustable deluxe wig cap so it's more or less like a netted cap and it just has like the adjustable straps in the back and I like them a lot because they're very breathable and they're very versatile so you can do a frontal on them you could do a closure and you can also do a youth part or you can also make a half loop so yes you guys um and if you haven't checked out my latest video on how I make my wigs and what wig supplies I use such as caps thread needles uh, mannequin heads then I will also hopefully try to remember to link that down below for you guys as well. But yes, check out March Queen. They got some bomb hair. I do like them a lot. They have like the bombest blonde hair closures and frontals. So I have tried one of those in the past. And that's just about it, you guys. So I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this unit right here. And I will see you guys in the soon to come video.